Hello, and welcome to the Valley of the Old Farm. Today, we're selling everything. Well, not everything, everything, but we're, we're, we're selling everything that's supposed to be sold. Yeah, that... I, I should have just said that. I, I definitely should have just said that. Oh, well. But, guys, if you like today's video... Uh, I'm stuck in a wall. Make sure you guys hit that thumbs up. Leave a comment down below and consider subscribing because, well, we're going to be making some money today and who doesn't like to make money? All right, let's get to it. So the first thing that we're going to sell is, well, you guessed it, our silage. Um, as of right now, though, it does not look like we're going to be able to make enough money to get out of debt, which that's fine. Okay. We had to buy a completely brand new harvester and I'll be honest. Um, I'm not surprised that it's not going to pay for everything. Um, so we're going to take this load. This is just a nice little half load or 62% of a trailer. And we're just going to get this one sold off. And then we're going to start running back and forth to the biogas plant to get everything taken care of. And we'll probably end up selling a couple loads of straw as well. So once we get that done, we should we should be able to make a little bit of money. I, I hope. All right, let's see how much we're going to get for our first load. Uh, 62 eight 62 nine nice all right that is that is a respectable amount I will I will gladly take it now we need to do it what four more times I gonna be too I don't, I don't think it's gonna be too bad we just finished selling off I think it's our third load fourth fourth load something like that um and we now have over five hundred thousand dollars which is a bonus because our loan is only for 500 so we can now officially you know pay off our combine which is going to be very very nice we know we won't we're still going to pay for our land rent and everything else which is fine um, I need to start working towards buying the land that we have, but, uh, we'll, we'll eventually get there. Um, but, ooh, why do I feel like my door's kind of open? Uh, hey, never mind. We're not, you know, we're not even going to worry about it. Um, but we're going to get that loan paid off. So, you know, it's, it's not going to be any issue anymore no that will that will save us a lot of money in the long run you know that way they're not taking away all of our money all the time yeah because those interest fees are killing us man they are brutal so we picked up our final load of silage bales and we're gonna go take it to the bga like we've been taking every load then we'll come back and since this holds 24 we'll get 24 bales down out of the loft go sell 24 straw bales just to you know kind of pad pad our wallet a little bit and we may hook up the plow because we won't be needing the um, big massey anymore to transport stuff because oof, man oh wrong side um because well the next stuff that needs to be transported is already loaded up on the pickup so we'll go into february and we'll go get our lettuce and everything else sold off and whatever else comes out of the garden for next month so yeah stick around maybe we'll uh actually make a profit or make more of a profit i i've i'm so used to saying maybe we'll make a profit no we're actually making a profit wow this is weird I, I did not expect it. You guys are cutting into my profits! 
I mean, what? Sorry, I, I, I didn't mean to yell at. at I, I wasn't yelling at you. I promise. I was yelling at the pigs. Nice. So, with that, that's all of our silage sold off. We're coming out with two hundred sixteen thousand two hundred fifty-eight dollars. Now let's see how much money we can make off a of one or two. I, I, I got to figure out how many bales we have up in the loft. Um, off one or two um straw bales or, or loads of straw bales. There we go. All right, so we only have, I think it's what? Okay, we have 14 more bales in the uh, loft. Okay, so we're just gonna end up selling off one bale trailer of bales of straw. So we're not gonna make too much money for it, but it, it's still, it's gonna be enough to help get us through our, um, get us through the year because this is pretty much the only time that we make any money which isn't ideal we need to start making some more money throughout the year but this is pretty much our our main source of income for the year which i mean in farming that that's just the way it goes you know we may end up plowing up the uh cattle pen again i don't know i haven't decided yet but i do know we need to sell these straw bales and uh, make a little bit of money. So that way we can go on to February to make a... So, okay, we're going to make some chump change. But regardless, we need to get the lettuce, cabbage, or not cabbage, uh, red lettuce and melons all sold off. But um, I don't think we're going to be able to make any more red lettuce or melons because something's going on with them. So we may switch that over to cabbage and, or I think it's cabbage and uh, strawberries, but we'll still be making our lettuce as well. I mean, it is what it is, but you know, I really wish we could make the red lettuce and melons, but I, I think, I think something's going on and you know, they're not, they're not growing well. So is what it is. All right. We got 25 grand without selling six of them. And I'm not I'm not allowed to do math. So yeah, we got that much money. Okay, we ended up with 251. Yeah, 251 thousand dollars. We're not gonna worry about the nine dollars because shoot, I'll spend that on lunch today. So yeah, let's uh let's get fast forwarded to February and get to work. I was doing some stuff around the house and I just finished up plowing those two cornfields that we had and well I had an idea what if I go and I take just one load of each of the crops that we need over there for the pigs and you know just put them in the barns that way all I have to do is take the uh, little Massey over there with a the bucket on it and then just kind of scoop everything in that I need and just kind of trickle in feed as we need it. And you know what? I think that's a pretty good plan. So that's what I'm doing right now. I know I said that we were going to fast forward to February, but you know what? I think this is going to save me time doing it this way. All right, let's get some corn in here. Then we'll take over the rest of the uh, sunflower seeds. Or actually, no, we don't even have to worry about sunflowers because we should be good on protein for a while. So I know we do need to get some corn in there. So that way, hopefully, we can get the uh, base food percentage up and start producing some piglets. Because I went, I looked at the mill, and I'll, I'll, I'll tell you guys this. I'm not impressed with the mill. Um, it it, it kind of sticks out like a sore thumb. So I don't think we're going to get the mill. I'll, I'll just, I'll just suck it up and, uh, you know, if we need to do potatoes again, we'll, we'll do potatoes again, but don't expect me to do it, you know, with the proper machine because that, that's not going to happen. Ooh, it is a cold and snowy day. Hoo wee. Um, so we got lucky and the high price for our lettuce melons and red lettuce is all at the same place i was worried that we would have to grab and just 
sell them individually, but we're not going to have to. We're just going to be able to back up. Ooh, it's a little slippery. Um, and, you know, sell everything right away, which is going to be very, very nice. Uh, oop, oop, here comes a drift. Oh, okay. Okay, cool. We made it through just fine. All right. Let's, uh, ooh, man, there's a lot of snow up here. Let's, uh, let's make sure that we can, uh, get there one safely and two, get everything sold off. Now, we had to take the long way around. So that way it'd make it a little bit easier to back this uh, trailer in, which I think we still might need to um, pull some of the pallets off. Yeah, I, I don't think we can get close enough for them to uh, take them. So yeah, let's let's start grabbing pallets and just tossing them over there. All right, how much are we gonna make with our produce? Come on, finish selling. Let's go. Ooh. $47,000? Shoot. I'll take that every day of the week. All right. Well, guys, I believe that's going to be it. It's a little it's, it's a little snowy, a little cold. I kind of want to, you know, just go home, drink some hot cocoa and relax. So, you guys enjoyed today's video make sure you hit that thumbs up if you're new around here consider subscribing if you like something about the video leave a comment down below with that we'll see you all later